Ashley Pease, Brittany Graham. Will you activate your audios, please? Raise your right hands. Swear that testimony in this case to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. I do. Thank you. And Ms. Peace, I think you indicated in your petition that Ms. Graham is your fiance's ex-girlfriend, is that right? Correct. And that she's been sending you lots of texts, which you don't want to receive, and also that she's been posting a lot of negative comments about you. Correct, Your Honor, a lot of negative false comments. Okay. Uh, so have you told uh, Ms. Graham that you don't want her to contact you, or have you made that clear to her in I some guess. way? Multiple okay. times in the messages. Okay, tell me about that. Um. When she first messaged me, when she found out that we got engaged to uh, tell me that my ring she had supposedly picked out when they dated and it was a secondhand ring. Right. No, I, I, I saw those. So just tell me, how did you tell her you didn't want her contacting you? Oh, well, the first time in the message, um, I believe I asked multiple times to leave us alone. Um to stop messaging me um, multiple times throughout the direct messages that were sent back and forth. Okay. All right. So I did in reading those, I did see it was kind of a, as you said, a back and forth. Uh, okay. She would insult you, you would insult her. It kind of went back and forth that way uh, through a lot of messages. At some point, in there and maybe i missed it did you say i'm done i don't want any to hear from you anymore um i believe i used the verbiage of leave us alone uh we don't want to speak with you uh to stop harassing me my fiance and his friends okay all right And Ms. Graham, anything you want to say? Yes, Your Honor. Ashley is asking for a restraining order, keeping me away from there. This is a ridiculous and baseless request because her complaints don't make any claim I stalked or threatened her or done anything in her physical presence. And B, if her family and her were so worried about my physical proximity, why did the aunt travel three counties from Thurston to Pierce to King to Snohomish County to personally serve these papers to my mom's house? It is actually not me who is engaging in harassing behavior by misusing the court system as a weapon against me. If I was such a threat, why wasn't I blocked to begin with? Ashley bases most of her claims off hearsay about what I supposedly said to other people. These claims are untrue and no basis for a restraining order. I'm asking to remove any evidence that was given off Facebook. I have done nothing to harass, intimidate Ashley, and I have no intentions of doing so. Even without a restraining order, I have no interest in having any further contact with her. Okay. So I'll ask you first, Ms. Graham, when was the last time you sent any message to Ms. Peace? I've had two conversations with Ms. Peace. One uh, in the beginning, about a year ago. Um, that was just a friendly conversation of trying to get clarity on a situation with my ex because he was making a lot of, um, I guess, um, kind of manipulating me in a way. Um, and I was trying to clarify some information with her. The next time I spoke with her uh, was maybe about a week ago. Um, I've only spoken to her twice. And um, like I said, I have no interest in- Why, why did you, why did you reach out to her recently? Because from what I can tell from our first conversation, 
the what it looks like is a girl who was jealous who made some statements and was maybe investigating the possibility that my ex had been allegedly making false statements towards me as well. Um, and then after we had broken up, I haven't even been to the Elm area in since our breakup. Um, about two months after, um, before me and Dustin had broken up, I had told Dustin to continue, maybe that he should date Ashley. Then she posts a photo on Facebook of a ring that looks similar to the ring that me and Dustin had picked out at the store. From my perspective, it looks like a taunting attempt to try and get back at me as revenge or maybe some jealous plot. Okay. Your Honor, if I may. Yeah, hold, hold on just a second. Okay. Please. And you're up in Monroe, is that right, Ms. Graham? No, Your Honor. Um, those papers were misserved. Um, they were served to my mom's house. I right. currently live in Everett at an apartment. Okay. But so you're up in Snohomish County? Yes. Right, as I had indicated uh, at the beginning, uh, having read the messages, uh, there was a lot of back and forth. Uh, you were both, uh, in Ms. Graham's words, taunting each other. You were both pouring a little gasoline on the fire. So, you know, it's... Um, this isn't a situation of somebody not wanting to be contacted and just not responding. Somebody is responding in kind to what she is seeing. So um, and that's a little bit problematic, but it, it's clear to me that Ms. Graham has reached out at a point where it was clear that contact wasn't desired. And we do have the ability to tell people we don't wanna hear from them. And if they continue to contact us, that can be harassing. And in this case, I will find that it was. So I will enter the, order. Uh, Ms. Pease's order will be in effect for one year from today's date. It's entered under the same terms as the temporary order. So Ms. Graham, you cannot contact Ms. Pease in any fashion. Uh, you're not to go within a thousand feet of her, her, uh, her residence or her workplace. And uh, we'll leave it at that. I sign the order, it will be available to each of you in the district court file for this case. And it does not need to be served on Ms. Graham since she's present for the hearing today and it's under the same terms as the temporary order that was issued in this case. All right, thank you both. Thank you, Your Honor.